So hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be going to the Magello now. I think it's the sixth round in the second season here. So um, oh, one of the teams do get their improvements now. I think it was uh, the junior team of Moto2. Uh, we also have enough to upgrade the engine now. So that will come in six weeks. So when that comes to them, one, two, three, four, five. They'll get it for Kimi Ring. And will the Moto3 junior team get to upgrade anything? No, they will not because they can't afford it. But it's not looking all bad because uh, they, they obviously they get an improvement here. We'll, I'll definitely do some stuff around Magello to get better. So I like that track, but obviously I'm going to do it around Fran France in the rain. So actually, how long is it left? Two weeks of better bend entry, and we actually ha nearly have enough already to go to the frame select section reduction. So how much is on engine? 800. So nearly not enough. Uh, not enough aerodynamics by electronics. Very close to getting 2000. So I'm thinking, is there any. Wait, when is the next week? So it'll come for Catalonia. We can take and we can take people off if it equals two weeks, right? So let's take the engine people off. Still there in two weeks, and we get more engine. So you know what? That's good. Let's advance a week. Let's lose more and more money. Oh, okay, we've got team staff management, new candidates. Well, Braxton King, I'd honestly love to have you. Issue is, I'm a bit poor. And Sunan Vagel, you seem great, but as I've said before, I'm a little bit poor. So, how we look at right? Yeah, we only have those upcoming weeks for our riders, but obviously, we can't really do that. To finances, we're getting close with these. Hopefully these are improving. Actually, they definitely are, I think. She's got to 71. She was 70 now. Also, actually, Fumigali is a lad. So very sorry if I've been calling him a, a, a girl. You know, it confuses me because I thought it was a man. Then I saw Andrea. And I thought Andrea is a girl's name. Obviously, you can't say that anymore. But very sorry. It's a lad. And obviously, Stuart and Ferretti. If they're getting better now with Moto3, they're slowly getting better. And hopefully, they do improve so slow bad, bad at learning will take longer to improve so Stuart's already good at improving so obviously this is them this is where they are improving a lot I think I you know what it, those circles if those circles are full does that mean they move up a ranking of how good they are they would explain why Fumagalli does better and qualify them racing but not really much for Blanco not really much there so I just hope the development comes through sooner or later but you know what, let's go straight. There is, is a Sunny for Magello. One week on that. Let's actually quickly check how much we have on the engine. Sorry for taking ages looking around with this. See, the engine will not be able to improve unless we uh, steal some people from the frame. Anyone else good at engines here? Stratano, Mascari, and Vega. That comes in two weeks, though. So let's put the people that are good at aerodynamics. Where's the aerodynamic guy that I put out? Who's on that aerodynamics instead? It is a uh, Catrulio. Where's Catrulo? There you are. And you make it one week. So that's perfect, actually. We get 750. So we'll be on about 2,000. It won't be long before we get more torque in it. Hank's extension and don't get the fuel consumption because I don't really mess with the fuel. So anyway, let's get going to Magello and go for free practice because I do want to get these uh, nice research data but six rounds this is now into the well it's actually my favorite track on the calendar I think so I might even do the race simulation if I feel like it Hello, everyone. I feel Just a bit fruity so we are start our first lap a flying lap in qualify not qualified in practice here at Magello Alex Marquez being a bit of an idiot and not getting out of our way here. We are red at the moment, but I don't know if the time that's red is faster than the Quillac simulation. It most likely is, but... 
Make number one a hundred percent sure. It's not into the flow of this track yet, but I mean, it does flow nice once you get it in the rhythm. When up to the line, do we set the quick lap? We do a 48.6. So that's some very easy research data there. So we've completed our distance analysis. There we go. Perfect. So we've finished the race simulation. We've done five other laps. And somehow I set a faster lap on the end of that. Which is... I don't understand how, but I did. I set a faster lap. Yeah, repairs. It'll be the end of the session now. So straight to qualified. And I really hope... We don't have to do qualifying again. Where are we in the live session? I hope we're going to make it actually though. If we just skip straight to the session because we can because there's no one else going to set times. Let's hope for goodness sake we're not in Q1 is it? No, we're in, we're in Q2. Great. Let's we're in Q1. Great. But anyway, it's fine because one lap should not take too long around here, really. <clears throat> so obviously I've spent about 20 minutes running around Mugello in practice doing about seven laps. Just making sure that I'm doing my uh, research data. But anyway... It's time to get our uh, qualifying out of the way. Touch of gravel that's going to slow us down a little bit. We're still red though, which is good. Through Casanova, flick it through Savelli early so we can get the acceleration down towards the end of it. Through the Arbiata 1. Up to Arbiata 2. We're now five tenths ahead. Okay, now I'm setting the corner, but this is Scarperi up. The only corner of the track I struggle with, really, is this chicane, but I struggle more with Scarperi than Palagio. Through Corin Shao, or however you say it. And then through the Biondettis. Nine ten of socks are doing well there. Into Buccini. The corner of about 50 different lines is possible to take through it, but I'm nearly going off to the gravel there, but we've completed that, so let's see if we can go on pole. We can, so let's sim at this whole session. Let's see where we finish. So we do go through with Marquez, Rossi, Nakagami, Vignales, Espagro, Lacona, Petrucci, Bastianini, Bagnaia, Martin, Marini and Salvadori do not come through with us. They are they have at the back First of the grid, not over. in the top 12. So we start our second qualifying lap now. Well, it's in our first lap in second on Q2. I'm adding too many words to that, she just made it simple. And that's put me off my breaking point for the first corner, which is not good, but... Hopefully we can bring it back.
Still red though, which is good. And I'm pretty sure I said that exact line on our first qualifying lap. Because I was expecting not to be red, but we are red. And the current time, obviously not seen. We'll get told through the just for the Arabiatas, is it? Oh no, it's through the middle of them. I'm going to tell it's red by 8 tenths, nearly 8.5. And then I did say before, I'm not very good at Scaperi and Palagio. Uh, put that in the bin because they have been absolutely executed perfectly. This lap is a great one from me, I do feel. Has not screwed Buccini. Now you can't cross the love of the fastest lap, so let's go straight to the end of the session. Taking things inside Get pole with Rin session. second to Marquez, Mir, Morbidelli, Zarco, Aspagro, Oliviera, Miller, Binda, Quattro and Marquez. So let's get to our Moto3 race now. Transmitting from the starting grid where everything seems ready. It's always difficult to predict the results of a Moto 3 race, <coughs> but the riders we're seeing right now definitely seem to be the favourites. We're following the race now. So where are our riders? They are on the third row. They are in 15th and 18th. Yep, Stewart in 15th. Aria, Ariana Ferretti in 18th. So that's Bond's Johnny Stewart. Let's see where we go. Five laps of Magello. Last they go, there we go. Stewart there. Nice start actually from Stewart. Can he make some positions here? made a few already, so it's Ray. obviously, I don't think these have the upgrade, but Moto2 have the frame upgrade. So we can't really say, oh, is their upgrading very good, because at the moment, they've not had any, but they are in 10th, Australia well, is now in 10th at the moment. 12th, though, is still battling, some positions are lost and gained so fast around these corners. Especially side by side through the first few. Positions will change hands 24-7. But Ferretti's standing 19, so not as good from her. But Stewart's still in the points, but going back now, so obviously not the best. Oh, look at this camera angle as we go into Casanova and Savelli. Does it give us a nice swooping one? Yes, it does. Put up the best angles they could have done, I feel, for that corner. But you know what? We'll take it what we've got. And Ferretti's got back. Now, I don't know if I'm seeing this right. But there was um How do I Yeah, for is it twenty-third? Isn't that supposed to be loads of riders? Oh here they are. They almost all must have all crashed or something, because um they're so far behind, that's what I was confused about. But anyway, Stuart's now in sixteen, so I'm not looking very good really for our team around here. We seem to be just trying to get more and more, and more performances. Now this is a camera angle I really like. Into Buccini here. Leaning in. Still in 16th though. We couldn't keep our earlier success of actually reaching 10th place. And then down the back straight they do go. Down the back straight, down the straight, they do go back 
on the straight, I should have said there. And Stuart's now in 15th. He's doing quite well on the straight. Obviously, the slipstream does help out. And is he going to get number 37 here, maybe? No, he's not. But Yamanaki's going to run the outside of him, but he's still keeping it well. Right, number 37 there. Oh, is that Fernandez, maybe? No, I don't think it's Fernandez, actually, but we'll see a name sooner or later if we keep following Stuart. So we're just trying to get positions like this to keep going. Oh, he's Messi's teammate, and he's in second, so I wonder what he's, uh, well, he's not doing so well. Maybe it's a bad start. But anyway, nice through the Arabiatas here. Well, not Ar coming up to the Arabiatas here, for say, as I was going for Casanova and Savelli, actually. So where is Ferretti? 21st, they are catching up behind her now. And it's going out through the second Arabiata. And now to Scarperia and Palacio. Gap seems equal to the bike in front and the bike behind. Not much difference as Strip keeps pushing now. Oh, the little hill hit for Corinthiao. So the Essence has lost some time there. And let's not just his Fiasco is tighter than Yamanenko. Behind him, so is he going to get Slipstream on the straight? Maybe to catch up to the bike's head or not? Yeah, man, I can see him taking very different lines, which I'm, I'm picking up on quite easily. So I'm struggling to figure out why he's doing it. And it seems to be working, so... Stuart now on the straight. Will really get a good exit here like he did last time and get a great bit of pace down the straight there. Quick, just checking for raising in 25th, so going absolutely dreadful for her. But Stuart's not really blazing past anyone like he was last time, but still got the acceleration on. There's Yamanagi good on the inside. He's looking for it. We're on the outside actually with the first corner. He's there. Has he made it stick? Yamanaka has made it stick. That's the issue of it. If you're close enough on that straight, you get past. So that post Stewart can give it with Yamanaka. Let's hope he can. Obviously, Ariana Ferretti. Down in 24, so she's got nothing to brag about. Not a very good ride from her this well, this weekend, it seems. Obviously, the bike's heads, we can see that he's still behind the Yamanaka, is Stewart. Right, he's going through there. Let's go back to Stewart. Yamanaka's actually putting a bit away, so that's not too good, but hey ho, anyway. If we're getting better, we're getting better. Most of hoping they've just done research there, like I've said before, research data is the key to this. So obviously our main improvements will come over the weeks between Clearing and Renault. But obviously I hate the tracks, maybe our Moto2 and 3 team will start getting good results around there. And obviously the back end of the season at the Asian run. Hopefully they do well around there as well. Nice speed from Stuart though, actually, really. And it comes in to Buccini. And heads down the back, heads out back down the main straight, should I say there. But he is, looks like he's going to get overtaken, fall behind now. Back down the straight, there we go. In 16th still, but into the whiny section we're heading into. So hopefully, we can keep 16th. But they are on the outside there. Stewart side by side with Ricardo Rossi. Keeping behind so far. I wonder just have a look where Ferretti is. Also, this is our actual home ground. Three as well, in 24. So, not doing very well at a home track. Stewart in 16, doing okay. His home track is at the turn, or at the end of the side of the calendar, really. Stewart doing okay. So obviously Stewart's home track is the same home track of the race, of the racing team, so double priorities for him there at Silverstone. Zone. So 
the heli goes. Through Palacio, stop area, and then Palacio. Retti 24, still in the path though, but the make a few positions, but hopefully not. Hopefully, so few. So behind Sasaki. Actually, Saki behind, but Onku in front. And then he's still in the 16, just holding it off. How far away is bike ahead? Quite far, so I don't think it's going to get on the straight and do a crazy overtake. Ricardo Rossi looks like he'll ever take him, especially with that looking like a dive into Puccini there from him. Rosway hasn't waited to go on the straight because now it's left Koffler actually in a little bit. You'd expect him to wait till the straight, get the easy straight line speed, but instead he's let Koffler sort of join in a little bit now. And it's, I don't think Stewart's going to keep on position because Rossi will outspeed him this bit. Yep, here we go. Rossi with the extra speed, and Stewart loses that position. Koffer gives him a little shunt as well, but Stewart stays on. He's in 17. He's outside position, so once he doesn't even matter, he's lost that position. Fell outside the points, just needs more prestige, nothing else really. Well, Ariana Frey still in 24, holding where she is, but look back to Stewart. Off, we're not too far behind at all now. Do a bit lovely little camera here. Actually, you can see so many of the riders. You can see Stewart going in to Casanova and flick it back over to Svelli. You can see Ferretti in the background there. Fighting with Sasaki, and she can't make any moves up for Onku. Let's jump back onto Stewart actually, and that's what he's doing. What are you doing, should I say? Still flying around. I'm going to get hits on the back there from Carfer, he's all over Stewart now. Anyway, Stewart keeps going, he's doing quite well actually. Through Corinthia for the last time for a year, he still is racing. Through the Beyond Etties, one and then two. And then as he goes up towards for the run down to Buccini. Stewart in 25th, she's falling. Might even get 26 for Salax on the inside. So Johnny Stewart, is he going to keep ahead of Lopez? I think he will. So there he goes. And he's finished ahead in 17. So obviously Binder won that race. They're still not the greatest. Let's move on to Moto 2 now. Go for the Moto 2 race. Let's see where we are. Here we are live from the Moto 2 class starting grid, <laughs> where riders and engineers are talking over. So for the grid, where are we then? On the uh, great. Hold on a second. Are we 11 for 12 with Magali and Asia Blanco? So this looks good for our bike. Maybe the frame has helped a lot. So Fumagali, the lad I've been calling the last half this time, I'm very sorry to you. Let's see if our frame upgrade really does help us in this race and moves us up some positions. So Fumagali in 10th already. And making one position, but you know what? Let, oh God, the break-in loses so many. That's where it goes wrong with the break-in apparently. So anyway, let's hope we do okay. Fumagali is still in the points at the moment, but we need to get top 10 obviously to do well. 60 for Fumagali, so let's keep going. This, we could watch Blanco, but Fumagali, let's see if he falls back or not. Obviously, a few more upgrades and we'll be there. 19th, yeah, he's gone. Blanco in 17th, so not the best, but. Uh. So it seems like we need a few more races to actually get anywhere. A few more upgrades and we should be getting better and better. Blanco. Maybe try around the outside there. They are sticking together. I'm just amazed how much better they are in qualifying, but they're so much worse in the race. 11th and 12th, I'll be expecting, you know, to go around there, not full back 24-7. I understand if we qualified around here, but every single time it gives me false hopes there, and now we're 19th. Maybe it doesn't help with the engine either, but 
We can look upgrade. I think that's already been upgraded. We can look upgrading more and more for they get more research data. So let's hope they've been doing their jobs and researching what I could what I'm saying. Hope for the best they have. So anyway, Lithia Blanco in 20th now as they go around the outside. So in 20th, so five five places off the points. Blanco does have the hard tyres, so we could see a very late comeback from her. That's the only thing I can hope for from her. And from Andrea, from Agali, don't know what he can do really. He is just going to be running around like a headless chicken probably not going to have uh, any you know good things but let's hope we can do better as they go down the straight maybe they can do well so in 20 seconds is a Blanco let's hope they can still do well They keep going round the corners now. So we can do well. Two out of five laps done. Still in 22nd for Blanco. They're pushing down 23rd now for Blanco. They're losing a few positions. So yeah, not a good race really for us here. As you regard, he's down in 25th and Blanco is in 23rd. You know, there's only two, only 32 riders in this race, so that just shows we're not doing well at all. I was hoping we could get some more points, maybe even hit a tenth, you know. So for once, our uh, we hit our sponsors and see how much money we've got, but maybe we're gonna have to wait to Catalonia for that. Or oh, maybe we have to wait for Saxon Ring, Kimi Ring, Assen, Granahu, and hopefully not longer than that. Yeah, they come flying around now. Onto the main straight. Lovely. Trying to throw a bank out. Three, well, two, two, four laps done on the third lap now. So we're approaching the halfway point. I say about be our half point once they go into Arabiata two. But Blanca looking like she's going to lose another position here. Now she's got those hard tyres completely up to heat and will start gaining loads. I'm uh, hoping she just starts, you know, start pushing for everyone. Doing one of those amazing comebacks that everyone seems to be doing, all of the riders, most other riders seem to be doing. And let's make five six positions on the end of the lap, or end of the race, sorry. Let's believe in Blanco. Let's see if she can do anything good. She's in 24th now, so isn't looking good. So obviously losing the positions here. The points are looking quite far away from her. So I don't think the hard tyres have actually worked for her at all. She's now side side with Fumagali. Keep pushing through and you can do well, hopefully. Just keep going and keep going. Believe in, believe in you. You can do it. I beg you can do it as well. Down the straight they do go now. I'm very sorry if the recording's getting a bit laggy. It's been going on for a long while now. So obviously it will be a bit laggy as the race goes on. But I will refresh the recording before the next for my race so don't worry that'll be in good quality Blanco in 24th now 
Very good. Actually, can I pause it? Yes, I can. So I'll go back now. Let's see how we can do. Ah, it looks better already. It's just because obviously it's a long recording. It's processing it all. Blanco in 24th now. Seeing two riders ahead, which are possible to take. Can she do anything to pass them at all? Just watching them with eager eyes. Nothing they can do as they go side by side now. Now they're going to go side by side into Casanova and Savelli. Please do not do that. Blanco's in 25th, so she is behind. So, looks not like she's going to come all the way back through. Wolf Fumagalli. Well, they make the impression to come straight back through. He's already on Augusto Fernandez, I think that is. He's looking for position. Up the inside. Cannot make it stick, but he tried. Oh, and that is a Blanca in 28th now, so she has struggled. Saying that, so is Fumagalli. The rider's just straight, just flying past now. Have some of the riders just kicked in their warm hearts. Have they got their hearts finally warm? So they're now going so much faster than everyone else. Let's see if Magali could do this. With his tyres, can he kick his tyres into gear? And Will's middle like, of a head just fall off fast, so it'll just be a combination. He's got a bike right behind him as he puts his hand out. I think he has a bit of contact maybe. So in 25th, but the long straight could provide us a lot of surprises on this longer straight in slipstream. Very, hopefully we are. Keep pushing at the end of the straight. That's when the speed all comes back to you. We're now still in 25th, so it looks like this we probably lose more positions now. Don't think we'll gain any. That's to be a massive issue for us though. Hopefully not too bad. So they keep pushing now, keep going, going, let's hope for the best. So 24th of Fumagalli, I dread to think where on earth the teammate of him is. Melissa Blanco in 30th, oh that's been dreadful from a, it's worse than I expected, I expected a 29th or something, not that. But you know what, we'll have to deal with it, won't we? Well, you know, if you make up to 25 actually, so a few positions are coming through. They're getting slightly, slightly better. Magali doing decent. Yep. Around the outside of that corner. As he came around the final corner for Magali is here in 23rd. Where's Alithia Blanco? In 29th, will she keep it for Baldassari? Maybe not, but Fumagali on the straight actually. He's got a chance of losing position or even gaining one here. I think neither of them are gonna happen, but but then the straight possible position, but 23rd, and we have got 29th for Blanco. Now we can check with Moto 2. Yeah, we did not get our positions. Anyway, let's get straight to our race try and end the misery of this, of what we have. So let's see if we'll contrast the result again compared to them. It's not looking great for us, but then oh, those improvements will come slowly, slowly, and then we'll get so much better. We are live from the starting grid where the cameras are lingering on the favourite riders for today. A few let's change to our tyres. We'll go for a soft medium because I can handle the soft mediums, I think. AI will not be able to very well. Eight laps around Magello. Let's get going. Not long to go at the start of the grid. Well, the start at the front of the grid. And Suzuki then wraps a Honda next to me, but off we go. Losing those positions instantly. That's normally what happens on the straight, on the start. Unless I use the, I learn how to use the manual stop, which I may do soon. But Rins is ahead of Marquez. Actually, the side by side, and Paulus Bagro comes through. So, when on pole, we favour short run ups the first corner. 
Barge markers a little bit out of the way, a little bit cheeky me there, but you've got to be a little bit cheeky to get through. Rins ahead, going quite slow actually it seems. Will we be able to take him through Casanova Savelli maybe? I shall respect him through Casanova and Savelli, but through the Arabiatas I will not give him as much respect if I am close enough. Trying to size my nice move there on him. The size of the move. There we go. There's the move done. I was waiting for the opportunity to go a little bit wide to take it. Push him. I'll make if he wants to go around him, go wide. We'll cut it off. And then this could be the end of uh, our battling on this race. I could just run away with it here now. I'm hoping I do, to be fair, but. Unfortunately, it's not as fun to watch, but for me, winning is a, a, the best thing to happen. Obviously, we want Marker as well to fall back. In there we go. Nice corner there. Beautiful Casanova and Savelli section. One thing I do feel like is when I'm out here at the front, it's, it's hard to find things to talk about really. Especially at a track like Magello where I'm just so in tune with it, I feel. I like to put myself into the track and I see why it's actually a lot of people's favourite track. So it just flows so nice on the bikes. How you can just turn from one corner to the other. I do think the main talking point will be a uh, Moto2 and Moto3 team for a while. I need to make those a lot better. And try and improve on loads, really. But that's going to take a long ass while. But the research data takes ages as well, because I can't even I can't even buy the things which makes it faster. And in hindsight, it would have been a great thing to do if I'd have realised that I would have gone bankrupt, but. Unfortunately, I'm not a fortune teller and could not read that, so... Oh, this is like the, one of the longer tracks. So it's eight laps of nearly a one minute fifty, so... Normally they're shorter than that, right? Or am I... Off a one? Oh, a little bit of lag there. Through Borges San Lorenzo. Ah, so that's what's getting confused at her ref. I was calling it Borges San I was calling it Jorge. It's like Jorge Martin San Lorenzo, but it's that's Borges San Lorenzo. So you've got Jorge Lorenzo and Borges San Lorenzo. Okay, so that's where I was getting confused. I'm figuring out where I was getting confused. Because we've already got a quite a big gap to a spag rope. I'm just hoping a Spagro stays there, so it does give us a nice gap to Marquez. There we go, nice. Into the Beyond Dettys here. Oh, a little bit of a back step out there. I'm not doing too badly. Accelerations down, let's go. Head towards this line. 
another fast lap. And once we finish this, we will be halfway through. And Marcus is in fourth, which I like the sound of. Come on, Mira Mubadelli, I believe in you. And even Rossi and Vieira. Need all of you to, you know, push through and do well. I'm hoping the Moto3 team actually gets their part for uh, Catalonia because, as well as that, well, uh, it'll be better because it'll, it's a nice track for them to hopefully do well on. But also with Blanco, she should do well because she's a uh, she does well at her home track, so I'll see her home track. And uh, you know, I don't think she has an upgrade in time, but hopefully she's improved enough to not really do bad. Because obviously our riders will. Eventually get better, but we can't even afford to replace him at the moment. And by the end of the season, I'll be about two million in debt. We have to go for the lawn mowing tactic, but then obviously we do get like a million payout from our uh, contract, so that debt will probably be settled by the end of it. Also, if I sign a contract with a different team, that helps me as well. Like, I might go to own Repsol Honda or something like that, and they give me more money. I would just go to it because it gives me the most money. Obviously, I won't be moving uh, mid season because I, I don't like to do that. I want to finish off with my Water Prillia. See what I can do with them. Just a little wee there we just did. Let's go down the hill here, Casanova. And then for Savelli. For the Arabiatas. Zone here. And switch it over. Nice little flick there, and then flick it again. How far is it to Espagro, hopefully? As not said, so it seems to be five seconds, must be a long time. Well, it's a long time, obviously. I don't know where Mark is, so I'm hoping he's still quite far behind. It's in the lead of all, he just has myself. Then a Spagro, so I'm going a bit slower. And then Rins, Mark has. Then actually, Miramor and Deli are quite close, so. There is possibilities. Gotta focus on ourselves to get this win. If we focus on ourselves and do really well for all the performances, Marcus will drop points at some races. So if we keep going, we've got it. Megan, time I losing time won't tell me. So I've lost a little bit, I think, overall. I think I had it six seconds at one point. But then we've got a free temp penalty there because I've rid over the curb. That's not great, but anyhow. What's free temp going to do to a, about a six second lead? Obviously, they'd add up, but one is not bad.
There we go, now we're 6.3 seconds, so we've got it back up. So six seconds, now we're two laps go remaining. Marquez still in fourth. Come on, Mirren. Morbidelli. They're in a pack of fours, hopefully. Positions are kept. Ross, I'm pretty sure Rins is fighting with us. Or is it Mirren? I know one of Suzuki is really up the top with us. I don't think it'd be Rins, actually. It might be Mir, because I did kill Rins at, Rins at Le Mans. I don't know, actually, but anyway. Oh, that, I'll, fi I'll find it after here. As oh, the tyres are actually starting to go a little bit. Nice acceleration of the hill here. And then he lost it completely there. That rear right hand side is not enjoying it. Zone. There we go. Oh, so we're up to six tenths now. I mean, I don't know if I noticed when that went up or not, but it just got in my eye line. Now, we're doing okay as we head on to the straight. Brakes on, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Switch it over there. Oh, got a little bit wide. Still holding it though. Breaking zone there, so it in. Nice, we got that. Flick it over. We got that well as well. So they up through the Arabiatas for the last time here. Now I'll tell you now if you got it to this far. The uh, base recording of this is probably about an hour and 20 minutes, so yeah, that's a lot of work I've done, well, a lot of recording time, so obviously the rendering and uploading to YouTube will take ages for me to do this, but you know what, it's fine, I was a Moto2 and 3 team do ex take it extremely long, but as you come onto the last sector of Mugello for this season, bump all over the curb there, but you know what, we're not really bothered. There's a random bike going through the Arabiatas now. And we head up down the straight. To come across to win here at Magello with a very, very dominant performance. So we do win to a Spagro, Rins, Marquez, Mir, Mobadelli, Rossi, Bagnaya, Nakayomi, Oliveira, Cotoro, Zarka, Binder, Alex Marquez and Vinales. Then it's myself, Marquez in the trenches, 8 points behind, and Repsol Honda, we are 4th in the team championship, and Honda are beating us by 6 points in the Constructors. So it's a take or reputation really, our credits, which is the only money we make. Also, the research data goes very well with that. Let me go, and then obviously Moto 2, did they do any tests? They did, which is nice. Did Moto 3 do any tests? They did one. So quickly, before we go on to next week, which is the Catalonia, we've got the development of two components in the frame. So the frame's done. Oh, the frame's actually already done now. So, can we, can we afford to do the next bit of frame? No, we cannot. Aerodynamics? Nope, but electronics? 
We can. You know, if we add everyone, how fast we get electronics? Bear in mind, I don't really like the uh, electronics. I don't really care about. I want to obviously do it, but I don't want to put too many people on it. So the new mapping map size of the power delivered by the engine. It uses it, its use increases fuel consumption with it. So basically, we lose more fuel. But anyway, I won't make that come in five weeks. How much is the engine to that? A little bit. So you know what? Anyone who's good at engine can come on here. Anyone who's good at frame comes on here. And anyone who's left on here. I think that's it. So we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 16 people. Yep. Just because the Moto 2 team engine comes in four weeks. Can upgrade the frame. Nearly could upgrade the frame. Can't get anything there. So that's not the best. But anyway, the engine comes soon. Moto 2. Moto 3, sorry. Can get nothing else. But should get the engine next. So. Through the performance during races during quali- Hold on a second, so the frame inc is basically- I don't get how the frame increases during- How does it give us better performance during races? And then these give us better engine before races? I don't get that. This just doesn't make sense. Should I literally do both? Because it's faster. Okay, that's really confusing. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you and goodbye.